Hi, my name is Tim Pilcher. I'm an application engineer with Schweitzer Engineering Labs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a duplex with floats for level monitoring in the 2411P using the station settings feature. Before I get started showing you how to use station settings in the 2411P, let me describe what we have in front of you. So we have a 2411P uh, inserted into this rack. And we have HOA switches right here for controlling the pumps that are wired up to the 2411P. And then this Axion product is our, um, is our RTU replacement product. This product is being used to drive the inputs and outputs of the 2411P so that the 2411P thinks it's connected to a real working lift station. This allows us to go through and create faults, do all of our testing, check out our SCADA controls without having to do this in the field. And this is what we typically use on a customer site to make sure that the configuration is correct the way the customer wants it before they go and install it in the field. Okay, let's set this up as a duplex station using the station settings feature. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is you'll hit the escape button and that'll bring you to the main menu. And we want to go hit the down arrow to highlight the set show menu. Okay, we'll hit enter. And from here, we're gonna go down one spot to highlight station settings and hit enter to go into station settings. You'll notice that advanced and able is set to no, and that's where you want it to be if you want to use the station settings to automatically load the configuration for the type of station that you're configuring right now. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna go down and we're gonna change this from a single simplex station to a duplex um, with floats. So I'm going to hit enter, and the first thing you'll notice whenever you hit enter to change settings is you have to enter in a password. And so it's very important for you to know we're going to enter in a default password, which is TAIL, T-A-I-L, but it's important for utilities to know and customers to know that these passwords can be changed to whatever your standard passwords are and can, should be modified on a regular basis to make sure that the security in the device is maintained. So I'm going to go down. I'll show you how to, how to highlight. So the password is TAIL, T-A-I-L. And so what you'll do is you'll use this cursor to highlight which letter you want to enter and then hit enter and it'll show up as a star. Next we'll go up and highlight the A, hit enter, the I, and then the L. And then you have to accept this password. So arrow up until you highlight accept and hit enter. All right. Now we can change this setting from a single to a single pump up or triplex, but we're gonna select duplex for this application. Hit enter. Next, we'll go down to the next setting, and the level input is already set to floats. If I hit enter, you can see that there's other settings here for, a lot, for using an analog transducer with float backups or just an analog, but for this application, it's just gonna be set up for floats. Next, for your application, you may not have a low float below your stop, in this application we do, so we're gonna set that to yes. But if you don't, and you, don't have, and you only have a stop float, you can set this to no and just um, use your stop float as your lowest float. I also have the high float enabled for control. Um, if you don't have a high float, you can set that to no as well um, to customize your application. Voltage monitoring source, I have an external phase monitor relay that's gonna provide me a digital input for my phase monitor status, and so I have external selected. If you don't have a phase monitor, you can set this to none, uh, and then that'll take that uh, out of the logic. I can also set whether or not the phase monitor provides me a normally open signal or a normally closed signal. This one, I'm gonna select normally open, and then that's it. I hit escape, I highlight yes to save the settings, and I hit enter. And then you'll notice that the enable light goes off, the uh, device will power cycle and load in the correct settings for the application that we've just described to it. And then when it comes back up, I've got two pumps that are enabled and it's starting to run as a duplex station instead of a single uh, pump station now. For additional information about the 2411P, please go to our website at selinc.com or contact SEL directly and we'll connect you with your local application engineer or your sales rep to learn more about the features of the 2411B. Thanks for watching.